Dan Levransky here for Live Audio Wrestling and the Fight Network, and I am joined right now, ladies and gentlemen, by the one man who can claim to be at every single WrestleMania. That's right, the voice of the WWE. That's Mr. Howard Finkel. Fink, how are you doing today? Dan, I'm doing terrific. Thank you for having me. Uh, now, we're here at Wrestle Reunion in Toronto, uh, your chance to meet a bunch of the fans. Uh, how do you feel about coming to these shows? Because you've been doing a few of them lately, right? I have, and uh, where have I been uh, all these years? <laughs> For me, it's uh, a threefold uh, opportunity. Number one, I get to uh, meet the people, and they want to thank me. I want to thank them, because without the fans, in our industry, we're nothing. So that's one of the reasons. Of course, you know, you, you certainly have the opportunity to uh, get a little compensation, which is never anything to sneeze about. Sure. And the third thing, and to me it's kind of important, you get to see some of the people that you've uh, been involved with in the industry for many years. Some you might have seen oh, a week, two weeks ago, and then others who you haven't seen in years and years and years, and that's the fun part. And I can say, I probably have met everybody. I would suggest that the people that I have not met in this industry, they can fit on two hands. Yeah. Almost one, but two. Now, if you had to sit down and you know look at all the amazing amount of matches that you've announced and called over the years, is there any particular one that like really, really sticks out? I say this with total respect, and I don't mean this in a sarcastic uh, sense, Dan. That's a loaded question because I've seen so many of them. I don't think I could pinpoint one particular match. Uh, I've seen so many throughout my years uh, in every uh, every era that we've had, and I qualify them as eras. Right. Um, th there would be one match, but if I told you all the matches that I think bordered on greatness, you'd run out of tape. <laughs> And, and you mentioned the idea of the eras with professional wrestling. Has It must really surprise you, who's been in, involved in the business for so long, how much it really has changed over the years. It's changed, but with change, you, referring to myself, have to change as well. If you stand pat on your laurels from a professional and or a personal standpoint, Dan, you're not going to be able to enjoy how things develop as we moved forward. I'm still on the train. I've been on the train full time with WWE for 32 years and I've been in the industry for 36 years. Um, every day is like the first day on the job for me. And when you go out and you enjoy this industry like I do and you embrace every era that we've been in, it's a successful formula. Uh, if, if you can't adapt to the industry's uh, eras, if you will, or the, the, the cycles that we go through, um, I, can't, I can't say anything about that. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Mr. Howard Finkel here for joining us and uh, uh, continued success. And, <laughs> and uh, could we maybe get uh, like a Howard Finkel style announcement here for the fight? Now? Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Think Howard Finkel, and you're watching The Fight Network.